Hey everyone and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a requested video. I was checking my emails before filming and like the first one I seen was to help with the Arteza skin tones. So the person said that they just got the um, set of the Everblend skin tone markers as well as layer markers and they want some help with skin tone using the Arteza pencils, which they got as well. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and do that tonight because there is about Five or, six five or six exclamation points in the subject email, so I figured it might be a little urgent. <laughs> so I told the person I was filming it tonight and uploading it tomorrow. So for this video, I just used A603, which is porcelain peach. And the reason for that is I wanted to go for a tan look. And this one's a little more peachy, so I figured she's sunbathing. My skin is kind of rosy peachy when it gets like out in the sun for a while, so I figured I'd do that. If you're doing and then our lighter skin tone, um, pour, uh, vanilla or quartz white are really good for lighter skin tones. Um, for deeper skin tones, I would recommend, sorry, I'm kind of looking behind me. Hold on, I should turn this around. So this is how I have my markers back here, but for the lighter skin tones, quartz white, porcelain peach, and vanilla are really good. Um, for a, uh, like a mid-tone skin range, I would say use beige, um, or, uh, where is it, uh, the lime froth green. It's actually not very green at all. It's actually a very nice, like, almost deep taupe-ish color, as well as the linen gray. For deeper deepers, I would say use the, where is it, um, the oatmeal brown is really good, and that's pretty much the only one right now that I have tested out, so I apologize about that. So yeah, like I said, I'm still fiddling with the deeper skin tones, but the lighter skin tones, I feel like I have down. So for the deeper areas, we're going to be using Cocoa, which is A036, and we're not going to be using very much of that. We're going to be using the Burnt Ochre A113, because that would give her kind of like that been out in the sun, baked look. And then for her skin tone, I'll be using Marmalade A10, or A010, and Peaches and Cream A022. Um, I believe if the 48 set you do not have Marmalade, you can easily go ahead and use Apricot. So what I'm gonna do, zoom me in, we start doing her face. So before that, one of the better things I'd try to decide is, Where's your light form coming from? So since it's kind of like a top-down thing, I'm going to do as if the light source is right on top of her. Um, if you're doing the light source from the right-hand side, then this side of her body is going to be lighter, this side's going to be darker. If it's coming from this side, op opposite, this side will be darker, this side will be lighter. If it's coming out from the bottom, they've got to shade kind of where the bottom kind of gets darker as it goes up. It could be more shading around this area, deeper areas around here, underneath her neck, and stuff like that. You just kind of play with the light source a little bit. But I'm going to do it as if it's right on top because it's the easiest to learn and to follow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Burnt Ochre, which is technically my darkest color, so very lightly I'm going to shade around. Just going to kind of put a little shade on the on the ear there, and then I'm just going to follow her hairline very lightly. You want to have a very light hand for the first go. So yeah, for the first go, you want to have a very kind of a light touch. Because you can always build it up later. See, I seen the email and I seen the exclamation points. Like this is urgent, probably. So let me go ahead and help out. And I was actually going to do a different page um, later on in the month. So I'm just going to do now a shade right over top of where her sunglasses are. Because they'd be casting a shadow if it's on the top part. <clears throat> I was going to do a different video later on in this month. And I'm only going to go to about right there. And I was going to do it in a different book, but... 
I was like, I want to do a page from here on my channel. So here, I'll start the skin here, and then just speed this video up, insert into the cover and chat when I do it. So you can all see how I did it. And it also goes for helping someone out. Okay, now for the bridge of the nose, I'm going to go... <clears throat> Deborah Maul has put in kind of nostrils here. So I'm going to go from like a straight line and go up, just meet the shadows. Like that. And I'm just going to put in a curve there and finish up like that. Keep the shade going down a little bit. And then just kind of go like a U here for the Cupid's bow. And then for a chin, you just kind of do like an upside down, like that, you know thing. So there's your light stuff, your lightest or your darkest color. <clears throat> so now where I went deeper, we take cocoa and I do work in sections. I don't just do like, you know, I work on the face, I work on the arms, I work on that. So I'm gonna take cocoa very lightly, just deepen everything up. It was basically just going to be like where the hairline is and where everything else meets. I'm not going to do it on the nose or anything like that, just where the hairline is. And the sunglasses. Basically, it's helping to kind of deepen up like a shadow. Make it look like it's kind of lifted so you can kind of see. <clears throat> so it's almost like kind of almost smoking out the lines that Deborah put into the books. So you can kind of see the added depth that it added without going too dark. See? Just like that. Now, back to our burnt ochre. Again, very lightly. Just kind of blend and smoke them together with a light hand. I say smoke together, kind of like bring where you put down deeper pigment and kind of marry it together with your other darkest color. <clears throat> so that way later on, it's not like a harsh line. And I'm gonna put some a little color onto her lips as well. I'm gonna do like almost like I did her lips. Now I'm going to take marmalade, go over everything I just did, but go out a little bit further. I'm going to kind of deepen up the shadowing around her nose. Kind of bring out that color just a little bit more, because basically when we use peaches and cream, it's going to match up directly to the marker color. <clears throat> so this is just to kind of bring out a little more depth.
just like that. And I think I'm gonna get a pinky color, put a little bit of pinkish tone to her, her cheeks. I'm gonna put in pink macaroon. Just kind of build up like a pinky. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. <clears throat> like a little bit of a pinky tone to her cheeks, like being flushed from the heat. Just add like a little bit of a flushness. I don't know how well you can see that, but. So now I'm going to take our burnt ochre skin very lightly. I'm going to deepen up back here. And this is just where you can pick out where you think you need a little bit more shading. That's this step. <clears throat> and now, we're going to take peaches and cream and very lightly, you don't have to push very hard because there's a marker base, very lightly just kind of blend all those colors together. I just go in a very <clears throat> light circular motion. And it blends everything together. And because there's a marker base, you will not see those pesky white spots on your paper. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, just for the rest of the video, I showed you kind of the basic techniques is I'm gonna fast forward the rest of the skin because it's gonna be the same kind of back and forth techniques.
And there we go. There is our finished product. I hope you liked me watch me do it like piece by piece because like it makes like come to life slowly. That's why I like to do it like that. So that's our finished product. You can kind of see and like doesn't really look like wherever you shine it, like you don't see like the pencil shine, which is nice. Um, sometimes with pencils, the wax, you kind of like makes like a shiny, but I don't want really to do that with too much with the Arteezas. So what I'll do is I will link these pencils and markers down below if you have not, if you don't have them already. Um, I am a Arteza affiliate, so I do make a small kickback, but all of that goes right back into running the channel. Um, I hope you liked this. I did use the pink a little more on her stomach and her legs just to kind of make her look a little more sun-kissed. And that's just because like, it's a beach scene. If it wasn't a beach scene, I probably wouldn't have done that. I would just use it for her cheeks. But once again, I used porcelain peach for the marker. I used peaches and cream marmalade, which is marmalade is substitutable for apricot if you do not have marmalade. Burnt ochre, cocoa, or coca, cocoa and pink macaroon and i think all of these or once not in the seven or the 42 so the 48 set is marmalade <clears throat> so that is it for today i hope you all enjoyed it i hope it was helpful to the person on the ass i will work on a deeper skin tone um soon i want to get better at that um so i want to practice it more so that's it for today i hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time happy coloring